On May 24, Union Home Minister Amit Shah said the upcoming inauguration of the new parliament building will also see Prime Minister Narendra Modi install a historic scepter from Tamil Nadu next to the Lok Sabha Speaker's seat. In light of recent events, we explain what the single is and why it was given to India's first Prime Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru. What is the single? The single is a significant historical symbol that denotes the transfer of power from one person to another. It was also used to denote the transfer of power from the British to the Indians. It derives its name from the Tamil word semmai, meaning righteousness. Now, the history of the single given to Nehru. Just before independence, Lord Mountbatten, the last Viceroy of India, asked Nehru about the ceremony that should be followed to symbolize the transfer of power from British to Indian hands. Nehru, the soon-to-be Prime Minister, went to consult C. Rajagopalachari, who told him about a ceremony performed during the Chola dynasty. In the ceremony, the transfer of power from one king to another was sanctified and blessed by high priests. In such ceremonies, the symbol for the transfer of power used was the handover of the Sengol from one king to his successor. The newly crowned ruler would be given the Sengol with an order to rule his subjects fairly and justly. How was the Sengol made? After Nehru agreed to perform the suggested ceremony, C. Rajagopalachari was tasked with the responsibility of arranging a scepter. He reached out to Tiruvadurai Adinam, a well-known mutt in Tamil Nadu's Tanju district for help. The leader of the mutt commissioned the manufacturing of the Sengol to Chennai-based Vumudi Bangaru Chetty dwellers. It was constructed by two men named Vumudi Etirajalu and Vumudi Sudhakar. Both of them are still alive and remember making it. The scepter is 5 feet in length and has a Nandi bull on top. The bull symbolizes justice. How was the Sengol handed over to Nehru? During the ceremony, which took place on August 14, 1947, a priest gave the scepter to Lord Mountbatten and then took it back. It was then taken in procession to Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru's house, where it was handed over to him. A special song was rendered as specified by the high priest. The song played during the ceremony was composed by the 7th century Tamil saint Tirunyana Sambandar. The event was attended by Dr. Rajinder Prasad, who would go on to become India's first president and many others.